Hello, folks. This one's not gonna be about cars. Welcome to me using the 4K 60 frame per second front facing camera of my oversubsidized um, handset to ramble while I'm driving. Today we're gonna talk about what else? Personal automation. But I like to think maybe so. Uh, Siri shortcuts. I've talked about them since they came out. I've gla gladly, well, I've used them quietly since they came out. The vast majority of being the one that just disables Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth entirely. But um, one of the things that's always been present to me as a possibility for Siri shortcuts that no one else talks about is essentially like legitimately pranking yourself. What do, what do I mean by that? Well, if everything was working correctly, okay, so there's a new, I don't know, it's not that new. There's a new trigger for an, uh, an automation in Siri shortcuts tied to sound recognition. I mean, uh, and yeah, it's like baby crying, door slamming, uh, and the most notable one is coughing, okay? So it took me like five minutes to set up an automation that theoretically, if it had been working, anytime I coughed, the front facing camera of my phone would take a, a picture of me uh, and without any other, like, no other dialogues, immediately post that picture on Tumblr um, and then immediately link that Tumblr post uh, to Twitter. Um, a little, anytime, well, anytime it heard coughing. I'm looking forward to uh, it actually working because I don't actually know if that means it, it has to be. Anyway, um, and like, there's one where I'm in my bed shirtless at four in the morning. Uh, well, actually, they're, the, they're all like that. So instead of the sound recognition, I just did one that was like a random time at like three in the morning, okay? Uh, it was, I think it was three days. I set it up so at like 4.24 a.m., um, my phone would take a picture and just immediately post it to Tumblr. Uh, and that was so easy to do that. You could do that, even if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, and honestly, what other use is there for the, for the rest of that? So like, I know the trigger is the coughing or the time, but let's, so how else would you use the ability to immediately, to take a, like have your phone take a photo of you and then just immediately and automatically post it on Tumblr? Seriously. Um, and the thing is, honestly, and it might just be the way I'm wired, uh, at least like three quarters of the quote unquote workflows that I can, that I imagine when I'm like looking through the Siri actions are things like that. Like, oh, I could set up an automation that just posts the weather every day uh, at D the Duga radar site in Ukraine. Uh, and maybe even now have it automated, like have Siri voice too, be like, good morning, here's your weather brief for today. And then somehow upload that file automatically. It's little, it's just stuff that, you know, um, well, the adult me says, like it's inherently a waste of time. And of course, when you're talking about posting things, it's not just a waste of my time. Uh, man, it'd be so easy, even within the, the confines of... This is why, okay, all those years ago, when I first discovered Siri Shortcuts, this is why the title of that post, why well, that post and that, that episode of End User is me being like, I, oh my fucking God, this could be a disaster. In like, this is Apple allowing me to do shit that, I don't know. Anyway, that's why I freaked out so much, is because of things 
and I guess, you know, I know that's going to ostracize me from the, the whole, basically the entirety of the rest of the Serious Shortcuts community, because the rest of them are technology professionals, you know, living middle class lives with children. Um, that's, the, as far as I can tell, that's the main demographic. Why are there so many fucking people at the park? It's 90 degrees. Um, for finally, Siri can, if I ask, hey, Siri, read the, give me the barometer reading. She did that. They did that, sorry. Um, but, uh, oh no. Um, and I guess the reason why I'm making this video is, um, sorry, uh, I'm wondering, like, I mean, I could do a whole series of just series shortcuts that are just fucking destructive. I could really explore, like, in a, hopefully, in a responsible way, explore being disruptive with serious shortcuts. Uh, but nobody but me is going to want, and I, I don't really, as much as I, I guess, kind of find myself doing that, I don't want to do that, you know, necessarily. And it's kind of cool to, every two weeks, uh, spend 45 minutes being like, oh my god, what if I could get a shortcut working that, like, um... Well, that I could publish work like that level working, where every time uh, someone arrives at home, uh, an email is sent to their ex spouse uh, that automatically inserts uh, their health data or like the mood data from a mood tracking app, um, like, or just you know at a certain time of day. Just like, just so you know, oh, and like the, a, t a chart, a beautifully automatically generated HTML um, graph, a bar, I literally only know bar and pie, okay? Uh, I guess it would be, you know, depending on how much data, uh, of their mood over time, and then like a little marker of like, here's when you, here's when you left me, and like that just sent every day, and then um, ideally, like, the, okay, the thing about these shortcuts that you prank yourself with, the goal, of course, is to make one that continues and you forget about it, uh, and then you discover later. Um, I'm a bit of an early, I'm a bit of a proto, uh, automator on that. I'm gonna, okay, one more thing. So the, the big genius drywall thing that I did is, so there's an email address that you can use to post to Tumblr. It's, you know, randomly generated. And I, I really, this is the only brilliant idea I've ever had. When I was drywall, when I was trying to make random shit, because I thought, because I thought it was funny and unique and it wasn't surrounding me overwhelmingly. Uh, I didn't think it was unique, but like, you know. I could do it and I was 16 and I was like, let's fuck. Anyway, so I had the idea, of, I just spread that email address around to couponing websites. As a result, uh, drywallmusic.tumblr.com um, you can see that it's all right now. It's, it's, oh, you can see those photos too. I don't, I don't think there was one that was revealing. I feel like there was one where I was like, I really want to take that down, but I'm not going to because I, well, yeah, you know, it's just not flattering, but, um, yeah. So if you want me, that's. If that's the way to get normal people into series shortcuts, it's just like really stupid ones. Ooh. So, okay, one more example is one of the very first series shortcuts that I ever saw shared was one that sends the entirety of the B-movie screenplay, uh, which I guess is, this is a meme externally. I didn't know about it. I, I thought it was this person only. And it sends it over text message in timed increments uh, to whomever you choose to receive it. So, I mean, it's quick, but it's not just one huge text message that breaks. 
it's like, I, I mean, I think it was, it's supposed to take like four days. Um, you can get, you know what, I'll, if I, I'll post this on, uh, on the, the instant, uh, photo, photo application and I'll link that shortcut if I can still find it. But, oh man, those of you who know me, think about it. I could revert. I could revert and become the worst thing that ever happened to Siri Shortcuts. Um, but, yeah. Anywho, uh, personal automation is uh, <laughs> literally for those of us who've given up and just don't have any other toys. Uh, it's very frustrating. Um, like, <laughs> even within the framework of something that should be robust, like Apple, right? Uh, oh, one more thing. So Tweetbot just unveiled a series shortcut action where you can um, you can set it up so that it, it posts given text input to a specific Twitter account, right? Um, I literally cannot think of a single uh, quote-unquote regular use of that. I can think of a billion um, like spammy uses, but um, Maybe I'll try to set up a thing to like try to get as close as possible to the days when you could drag down on the notification center and post a tweet immediately without entering a Twitter app uh, from within the iOS interface that was going on 10 years ago, if not 10 years ago. A thing you could do, you could also post to Facebook directly without opening a Facebook app. Everyone else forgot this. I didn't, I forgot everything else. Um, I feel like the Marco shortcut that I made is, uh, that's definitely the peak in terms of widest appeal, but also funny and innovative. Yeah, it's just, I'm, I should stop really. Um, but yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a shortcut that divides this video into frames and sends it to accessibility dot, or accessibility at apple.com frame by frame, just my phone in the background for the next six years. Um, I hope, honestly hope that you aren't still watching because that means that you have nothing else to do and that you're still intrigued. Uh, but yeah, this is the bleak. This is what I'm left with folks. This is it. Anyway, happy hunting.